So today I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take to start on YouTube the right way. Let's get it. Welcome back everyone. My name is Nate and I'm here to help you master your money. So a little background about me guys. For years I had thought I should start YouTube. I should do YouTube but I never did and I always thought no one's gonna listen to me no one's gonna want to hear from me or anything I have to say but I was so wrong about that and so many of you have now come out and supported me and subscribed to me and watched my videos every single time I drop anything so if you would please join that family that would mean a whole lot to me by subscribing to the channel and liking the video thank you but anyways when I started YouTube I studied the people that did incredibly well on YouTube and sought to replicate the success that they've had with this, I picked up a lot of tricks and habits and tips to greatly help out new YouTubers on their journey to gain subscribers, to get monetized, and then to be the next YouTube sensation star like PewDiePie or Mr. Beast or any of the other ones that I've forgotten to mention because there's a lot of them. Anyways, so here is the list of the things that can absolutely help you out when you're starting your channel and also how to start the right way. So I started this channel back in February, back before the whole uh, DLness started. And ever since then, I have been gradually growing, making a little more and more every day. But my very first day, I made just a few cents. And that was huge to me. That was massive to me because I saw that you can make money from this. It's a real viable thing and you can truly do it but it takes time to build it up. So when July came, I had an astoundingly crazy, amazing month and I made over a dollar in that month. And I was ecstatic about it. I was, I was so happy about that. Fast forward a few weeks, and in a week in August, I crossed over making one dollar in a week. And then, and then, I am now at a point where I'm making a dollar a day for my videos. And now, this did not happen overnight. This did not happen in a week. This happened over the course of months. And there was a little period where I took a little hiatus from YouTube but I've come back now and I'm consistently posting twice a week and I have seen incredible growth in that time. Just two months ago, I was seeing about a five to 10 cent per day earnings. Today, it's between about 80 cents and $1.50. And as I put more content out there, I expand my reach and I'm able to reach more people and through that, I get more ad revenue. That's how that works. Starting on YouTube can be really challenging, but I have a few tips here to help you out on this journey to make this more doable and to help you get over that threshold of starting. Beginning anything is the hardest step. So before you make a video, you need to decide what you're passionate about and what you want to make videos about. So if you want to make videos about makeup, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to do ones about cars, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to talk about personal finance, credit cards, investing, and all that fun stuff, you can do like what I'm doing if you want to, it's okay. Whatever you wanna do, whatever you're passionate about, that's what you should speak about. One of the things that I have seen be most true is that when people are creating content about what they're passionate about, the quality is much better, they are more enthused about it, and things seem more genuine than someone who is doing something just because, oh, I can make some money with this. But if you go on something doing something as a genuine expression of who you are and what you like, it will come out much better. So the first step is to decide what you wanna make videos about. The step two is start before you're ready. You're gonna think, oh, I'm not ready for this. I can't do this yet. I'm not good in front of a camera. No one's gonna to wanna to watch me. I, I thought the same things too. And honestly, I'd wanted to do this for a long time, but I never thought I had anything to share. No one would listen to me. Because when I, when I talk to people in real life, no one wanted to listen to me. And that was kind of sad. And I truly didn't think anyone would wanna to listen to me on here because no one wanted to listen to me in real life. So uh, yeah, I was wrong. So once you figured out what you want to talk about and just starting to make videos, it really helps to stay in, in the thing that you're doing. Now you may have an idea or want to branch off and do other things and that's great and you absolutely should do that, but not when you're first starting out. When you're first starting out, this is the best time for you to get a backlog of your core content. The things that in a few years from now people are going to be referencing as like your classic videos, the things that like took you to the moon and back, those are the things that you did. So when you're starting out, make sure to focus as much as you can on your niche. All right, so once you have that down, this is the next thing here, and that is once you have a successful video that gets significantly more watch time or views or gains you more subscribers than normal, replicate that. 
So what I found with my channel anyways, is that you guys absolutely love top five lists. For whatever reason, when I have a top five list type of video, it does significantly better than my other videos explaining like one topic. So what I do is I condense five subtopics into one topic, but I call it a top five list. And that way you guys watch it, but you also get the valuable information too. So it's a win-win either way. So once you figure out a topic or a format that works well for you, make more of those kind of videos. Now don't spam the same topic every single day, every single week, but space it out, give some breathing room between other things that you do, but try and hit on those things that work well and replicate what you wanna see succeed. Now this next step is really, really helpful and this one thing that's really helped me out, I think, and that is looking to those that have been successful in the area that you wanna make content about. So with me being in the personal finance space, I have looked to Graham Stephan, Andre Jick, Dan Locke, Ask Sebi, um, Nate O'Brien, just, just to name a few. There's many, many more that I have looked to and seen their content and their format, how they do things. And I try to, as best as I can, to use the common factors between all those that force them to grow and to implement those on my channel. Once you have that sorted out, start spreading the word about your new thing, about what you're doing. When it comes to starting anything, the people that are closest to you, they're gonna be your best and first supporters in your new venture. So what this is gonna look like is gonna be sharing your new videos on Facebook, going to your Instagram, sharing it there. And if you have over 10,000 followers on Instagram, you can go ahead and put a swipe up story thing in your story and they'll actually send them to YouTube if they click on it. So these are just a few easy, quick ways to start growing your channel. And one of the hardest things when starting your channel is getting your first few subscribers. Once you get the first 100, things get much easier from there. But before you get to that threshold, it's really challenging. So your friends and family, you can expect maybe from that group to get maybe 40 or 50 subscribers to start you out. One thing you can do to start getting some more subscribers to your channel when you start out is gonna be to comment on larger channels, new videos that drop. So as an example of this, I made a comment on one of Meet Kevin's videos from last week, I believe. And from that one comment, I got about 250 subscribers in total from a single comment. Before that comment, I was sitting at about 1,175 subscribers, and now I am at 1,430 subscribers as the recording of this video. So that just goes to show the power of a single comment it can give you drastic growth when you're first starting. So next tip here, go to Facebook and join groups that have relevant content as compared to your videos. So if you're making videos about makeup, go to makeup groups. If you're making videos about cars, go to a car group. If you're making videos about finance and investing, go to finance and investing groups. Whatever it is, find your niche on both YouTube and Facebook and reference those back and forth. But one little thing here, don't just go into a brand new group on Facebook as a new member and just start spamming them with all your videos. That's gonna get you banned pretty quickly. What you really wanna do is go into a group, be a productive contributing member for about a month, and then start putting a video here or there that's beneficial and helpful for the group as a whole. So recently I interviewed a former Dallas Cowboy player and so what I did to try and advertise that video more is I went and joined beforehand a Dallas Cowboys fan group. So what I did is I joined that group, put some posts in there and about three weeks later I released the video. And when I did this I got many more views than what I would typically have gotten if I had not done that. There is so much to know about YouTube but really the first step is to start. The second step, that's to be consistent and that is honestly what I've seen that is the biggest factor in whether a channel is successful or not. If you can be consistently posting on a certain schedule for as long as you can, just keep doing that, you will see growth and eventually you'll see money start to be building and building and building from doing this. So now let's talk about the actual money side of this. Starting out, YouTube is not gonna pay you anything. This is because there's what's called a partner program and to be inducted into this, you must have 1,000 subscribers on your channel and at least 4,000 hours of watch time in a 12 month period. Once you have that satisfied, you can then apply for being part of the partnership. Once you get that, you'll get approved. And then if your videos are suitable for advertisers, so if they're family friendly, no cursing, no talking about religion or politics or any potentially non-advertiser friendly topic, then you can go ahead and put ads on your videos and start making money from those. And once you have those going, starting out, they're gonna make just a few cents a day, 
but as you grow, as you build more content out, as you grow your channel and grow your family, you're gonna have more money coming in. So on the very low end, when you start making money, it could be a tenth of a cent per day. But once you start building and growing, you could have thousands of dollars per day. There's an incredibly wide range in that, and the difference in those two things is consistency in time. If you are consistent over a long period of time, you will see the amount of money you're getting in from ad revenue grow from just a few cents, two dollars, to tens of dollars, a hundred dollars, and thousands of dollars, until you're Mr. Beast and you're rolling in like a million dollars a day. I have no idea if that's accurate or not. It's probably not, honestly. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, he is not poor by any means. So with that said, guys, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was able to provide value for you. And I hope you also consider please smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribing to the channel. I post videos twice a week, every week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And soon I'm going to be including additional videos here throughout the week as I am able. So if you like investing, saving money, budgeting, learning how to use credit cards for their incredible rewards, and traveling for free, and all the other wonderful things, and learning about all the incredible fantastic tax hacks that I talk about here in the channel, subscribe. You will get an incredible amount of value for the time that you spend watching the video. Because I guarantee watching cat videos and watching my videos, there's a big difference and you're going to learn quite a bit more watching my videos. And my content can help save and make you money in the future. So why not invest in yourself? Anyways, with all that said, additionally, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.